Hester Prynne is elegant, artistic, and a beautiful young woman who traveled to America ahead of her husband in England. He doesn't appear, so she assumes he's dead. She engages in an affair with Arthur Dimsdale, a young minister, and conceives a child. She's spared the death sentence, but imprisoned for three months, shamed in public, and sentenced to wear the titular Scarlet Letter. Hester rejects the Puritan community's judgment that her affair was sin. Her passionate nature inclines her to view their act as love and sacred. She lives apart from the community by her own choice and supports herself and her daughter by doing elegant embroidery. Citizens of Boston scorn and shun her. They eagerly buy and wear her gorgeous handiwork, however, and over the years, Hester's kindness earns her a new, positive reputation. She becomes much loved and respected, and she has retained her self-respect and endured with grace and dignity. Arthur Dimsdale is a handsome young Puritan minister, and he's the father of Pearl. That means he's Hester's secret lover. As a man of faith, he suffers bitterly for his transgression. His love affair with Hester was a violation of the seventh commandment, thou shalt not commit adultery. Now his inability to confess his guilt makes him suffer increasing self-hatred, despair, and mental torment. His emotional pain leads to his physical decline. As his name suggests, he becomes dim, a shadow of his former self. He often holds his hand over his heart, foreshadowing something big to come in the climax. Roger Chillingworth adds to the minister's emotional torment after his own arrival in Boston. Now, Dimsdale whips himself and tells his congregation that he is corrupt. Ironically, the more he protests his guilt, the holier people think he is. Roger Chillingworth is Hester's husband. He is a well-respected, well-educated medical doctor in England. He married the young and beautiful Hester, although he is much older and misshapen. His real name is Roger Prynne, but he takes the name Chillingworth to keep his identity a secret. He gradually destroys himself in his lust for revenge after finding out that Dimsdale is in fact the father of Hester's child. Chillingworth dies shortly after Dimsdale confesses his sin to the entire town as his sinister purpose for living is gone. Pearl is the daughter of Hester Prynne and Arthur Dimsdale. She is the living symbol of the Scarlet Letter because she was conceived from their passion. She is passionate herself, as well as being stubborn and willful, beautiful, graceful. <laughs> Pearl is able to speak to creatures in the forest and charm them into playing with her, but she's also a wild child who becomes more human by the end. 